Whether you like action movies or bodybuilding, there's a slim possibility you haven't heard of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come with me if you want to live. After becoming the first bodybuilding world champion, Arnold went on to become a Hollywood action star, a successful businessman, a best-selling author, and eventually the governor of California. Let's kick some ice. Arnold Schwarzenegger's life story might be an inspiration to us all. I'll be back. The name Arnold Schwarzenegger is now known all over the world. He born in 1947, in the country of Austria. Arnold's upbringing in a country that had recently suffered a devastating military defeat in World War II had a deep impact on him. Some believe that the post-war occupation exacerbated problems like food scarcity and unemployment across the country. Arnold's dad was just one soldier whose morale was slashed because of what was happening. As a result of these early hardships, Arnold resolved that he must immediately depart Austria for the United States. Luckily, Arnold found his golden ticket and his way out of Austria at the tender age of 15 by reading about Reg Park. Reg Park was a world-class bodybuilder who leveraged his popularity to enter into the film industry. Before learning about this man and his accomplishments, Arnold had no idea what he wanted out of life. Arnold studied his success plan and trained for five hours a day, six days a week, and at the incredible age of 20, he became the youngest European champion bodybuilder. Always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard? Five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And I told people all the time, I said, because to me, I'm shooting for a goal. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision turn into reality. Over the next 15 years, Arnold would be untouchable in the world of bodybuilding. Arnold Schwarzenegger's goal from the beginning of his bodybuilding career was to become a successful actor in Hollywood. He maintained a steady focus on the prize. He received the Golden Globe for Best New Male Actor, making him a Hollywood star before he turned 30. After being cast as the title character in Conan the Barbarian, Arnold's career took off. So grant me one request. Grant me revenge. And if you do not listen, then the hell with you. Arnold's career from here on out would consist solely of commercial hits, catapulting him to global fame. He has been featured in numerous successful films. Conan the Destroyer, Terminator, Red Sonja, Commando, Predator, The Running Man, Red Heat, Twin, Total Recall, Kindergarten Cop, Terminator 2, True Lies, Collateral Damage, and The Expendables are all examples. Arnold Schwarzenegger's personal story goes on after he retires from acting. After a fruitful acting career spanning several decades, Arnold would enter politics. Thus, he decided to run for California governor, and he ended up winning. In doing so, he became the 38th governor of California. I will reach out to Republicans, to Democrats and Independents, to those who supported the recall and those who did not, those who supported me today and those who did not. I want to reach out to everybody, to young and old, rich and poor, people of all religions, all colors, and all nationalities. I want to be the governor for the people. I want to represent everybody. There's little doubt that Arnold is continually seeking new challenges. Since leaving politics, he has published multiple books, devoted time to charity, earned a large wealth, and is involved in several promising new projects in the film and fitness industries. Work your ass off. There is no magic bill. There is no magic out there. You cannot get around, you have to work and work and work. One of the main arguments we'll be making in this Arnold Schwarzenegger success story is regarding the success philosophy that was important in his rise to fame and fortune. If you want to be more successful, we believe this is the most crucial detail to include. This is what we found out. A number of things worked together to make Arnold as successful as he was. To begin with, he needed to have a strong desire to succeed. Arnold wanted nothing but the finest for his life because he knew he was worthy of nothing less. The second element was the certainty of his beliefs. Arnold was confident that he was destined for success and that he deserved to realize his goals. I feel there was more to life than this and I deserved better were common themes throughout his writings and documentaries. 
The second critical aspect in Arnold's success was his capacity for positive visualization. Arnold's future plans were very grandiose. He eagerly pictured it in his mind and waited. And it's one that might give him the strength to keep going in the face of overwhelming adversity. The next part of Arnold's success philosophy was his dedication. Arnold's dedication and focus were truly remarkable. Arnold's success was entirely contingent on his determination to work tirelessly toward his goals, day in and day out. What is not okay is, that when you fail you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up, fail and get up, fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner.